Oh, this lighting totally sucks. But hello. I'm wondering if I should set you guys up somewhere else. I'm probably going to right in front of the window so you guys can like really see me. Sorry. It's going to be shaky for a second. See if I can even do this. Oh, come on, Katie. I should have had this idea to set this up. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. Hey, girl. I'm trying to set this up to where maybe I don't even need. Okay. Epic fail like my life right now. I'm just going to set you back. Ah! Mm. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. So, I want to do a face mask and then I wanted to come on here and talk. Um, I'm going to just because I feel like I haven't really talked to you guys in a while. My hair is nuts. What in the world? This girl is walking across the street and she has like the coolest outfit on. Hopefully she's not walking up to my house. Totally is walking to my house. We're just going to ignore the fact that I'm right by the door. Who else does that? Oh, there's the doorbell. And I'm not answering it. When they try to sell something, I'm like, no, thank you. Matt's the same way. I'm like right at my window, right by the door. This is cool. Sorry, one second, guys. Okay, she walked away. I'm just not a fan of answering the door when I know it's someone selling something or say, hey, we need to fix your window or something like that. Like, I get my dad to do all the stuff around the house, so I don't need that. Plus, I don't know, especially if it's a, I mean, girls can do it too, but if it's a man, I don't like opening the door for someone if, like Matt's not home. Anyway, so I'm using this face mask, this one right here. It's the Freeman's um, Peel Off Clay Mask. Yeah, it's a clay mask that peels off and it smells amazing. It's in the scent um, Sweet Tea and Lemon. And it doesn't smell like sweet tea and lemon. Um, anyway, so coming on here pretty much to talk about how life has been lately. Uh, you guys have seen me post videos recently, but all of those are like pre-recorded videos. I haven't actually gotten to sit down, <clears throat> excuse me, sit down and um, film a video. And like the last video I was able to film was on Valentine's Day. And to me, that was a long time ago because I try to film on the days that I don't have Hunter. But 
pretty much this video is stating the fact that, I mean, I've talked about it before on my channel. Also, don't mind my big pile of laundry right there. I just washed some laundry, and today is laundry, dishes, all that kind of day. Um, so I have to do that still, but, uh, I have mentioned that I've had anxiety and depression, and lately it has been the worst I feel like it has ever been, and I am on anxiety medication, I am on anxiety and depression medication, um, to update you guys too, to talk about, um, where I posted a video that I finally got help because it's crazy saying this live and talking to other people that I've never had like um, a sex drive before. My hormones have always been out of whack. I always feel very fatigued and I finally found a doctor that she tested for everything and she found out that I had no progesterone, testosterone or whatever it's called I think. My B12 was low and my vitamin D was very low. So she put me on pedesterone and something else um, and it's been about three months I think I've almost hit it because she started me that in December so I stopped taking um, I think it's like DHEA or something like that like hormone I stopped taking it after the first month because it was making me so depressed I can't even tell you like I was in the lowest that I've ever that I've ever been and I think that it was like going against my medication that I was already taking, which I'm taking Lexapro. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it or not, but it's like a really kind of easy, low dose-ish thing for um, anxiety and depression. Um, it's kind of new and they like highly recommend it. I've had no side effects from it whatsoever. Um, and then the progesterone, like, I don't know if you guys know a lot about progesterone, but if you don't, you can totally look it up. But usually that's what you need in your body to get pregnant and stuff like that. I'm not trying to get pregnant because I don't want any more kids, but that's why we have a, okay, sorry, Trish. I'm just in comments, sorry, I think my, um, hi, Laura, um, I was just talking to you over Instagram. I think my phone's being kind of backed up on, um, comments, I apologize. Um, so, anyway, there was really no need for me to be taking that progesterone because I'm pretty, you get tested to see, hey girl, um, when you get tested to see if you're, when your progesterone is low, it's supposed to be like a specific time, like right after your girly time, I think, and I don't think she tested me for that, so that's why it was super low, um, but usually women that have like, um, <laughs> okay, you guys' comments are like slowly coming in, it's, uh, it's weird. Usually it's not behind like that. Um, but usually women that have like miscarriages and stuff like that, their progesterone is low and they're trying to get it like trying to hire, get it like hired up. Um, not hired up, but trying to like boost it, whatever. Um, and I guess you can hire your progesterone with stuff other than medication. My twin sister told me that. But stop taking it, and I honestly stopped taking it two weeks ago, and I've honestly felt so much better. So that's the thing about medication. You have to, like, really make sure you're... Sorry, guys. I really don't understand why my life keeps turning off and then coming back on. It does this to me all the time. It's so annoying. Um, I'm trying to just think of what else. So pretty much what I'm saying is that now I'm on a new medication, and it should help with um, my energy-wise and um my anxiety has been terrible too i usually can, can like control my anxiety pretty well but it got to the point where i don't even like um being around people out like i don't i have social anxiety but it's never really like that bad so it got to the point let's just say where i had my friend hannah's um bridal shower to go to last weekend i'm pretty sure I had it written on the calendar for like a month and I was so excited. I would look at it all the time. I even got a cute dress to wear and everything. And then when it came to me like the day before, or like actually the morning of um, me going, I just felt like I couldn't do it. Like I was having such bad anxiety. I was exhausted. Um, the time that her bridal shower actually started to the time it ended. I slept that whole entire time because my body has just been 
tired and she totally understood. Um, I'm like, I'm not missing her wedding for sure. I would never miss something like that. Um, but sometimes you just know when you need to like stay away. Um, girl, you're so freaking sweet. Doing a bit better with, um, uh, therapy and stuff lately has been nice. Matt actually was able to go to a session with me, um, two days ago and it was awesome. Um, also another thing to bring up, we're having some baby daddy issues. Um, there are some things going on there that I'm not liking what's going on and I feel like I never bring that up. I never bring this up on my channel, but, <clears throat> um, I don't know if a lot of you guys, well, I think a lot of you guys know if some of you guys don't watch my channel often and you're watching this now, I do have a two year old son and I love him to freaking pieces. Um, and I have him half the week and I let his dad have him half the week and there's just certain things that communication wise is not going well and it gives me very bad anxiety because and it makes me really really like mad like I get really frustrated and I just want to like scream and yell and I know that's not the best um, thing to like go about it so we're trying to communicate really well um, Matt and I are doing good on that end, but not sure it's going well on the other end. Um, but we're working on it, and um, I also feel like I've been getting a bit um, of the depression from that too, because when it's nice, like when Hunter's gone, I it's nice to have a little break, but I am working as well, and um, I don't get like a crazy amount of free time, but I try to like rest as much then too. Uh, and that's the time that I try to film videos, but when I'm not feeling up to filming, I don't film because I never want to sit down and just be like, uh, I have to do this for YouTube. Um, so as in the title, I said changes to come. So, uh, in July, the, my grandma is moving, which I am pretty much devastated about. Um, I love her so much. So she's pretty much my adopted grandma. But I've been helping her for like two years. She'll be 88 this year. And her son-in-law, which she lives with, um, with her daughter as well, um, is not doing too well. The altitude here in Colorado is blank, so they're moving to Utah. And because they have family there. So that means that I won't be helping her during the week so that gives me one less job to do but I still will be cleaning three houses but I'm making my schedule to where I can focus more on YouTube um, now that I'm actually making some money from YouTube it's not a lot of money but I feel like if I really focus on my channel and really can really put up videos that I personally want to film but also you guys want to see and do product reviews and all that then I can start making some more money because I would like to have this like somewhat of a part-time job being able to make like a little bit of money from it you know I'm lucky enough right now that I have a man who can support Hunter and I um, while I just work part-time while Hunter is at his dad's house and then the other part of the week I can actually spend time with my son sorry I'm looking out the window because um, our creepy old neighbor is outside he always creeps me out um but pretty much that's that so coming june july ish i will definitely have more free time and you guys are going to see so much more of me i'm going to come um on live so much more often i'm going to be posting to instagram so much more often so i got a few more months and i'm going to be like working really hard with her helping her pack up the house and stuff and really like saving up money and all that and I'm just excited I'm excited to do YouTube more it's something that I'm very passionate about it's something that I really love if you guys haven't been able to tell that and me lately not being able to like sit down and actually film as much as I want to makes the depression even more worse. Um, everyone deals with depression and everyone's depression is so much different. I can wake up feeling super depressed for no reason whatsoever. Um, and it sucks. So it's definitely something, my stupid phone, 
it's definitely something depression and stuff is definitely something to work on it's not going to go away overnight i'm starting to work out again so i'm ready for a change i'm ready to feel better and i wanted to come on here and just tell you guys that um I'm hoping to start filming and stuff more. Um, all you guys who watch my videos, watch the ads. That's how we get paid from YouTube. I know a lot of, I feel like a lot of people don't know that. That's how you get paid. That's how YouTubers get paid is if you watch the ads on the video. Um, so that is very helpful. This has totally dried down. I guess I can show you guys how I peel it off. I kind of just like do this and then just peel it. And it's nice because this one is not a mask that hurts that bad when you, because I don't like, okay, I say that and my eyes start watering already. I don't like peel off mask for the fact that I feel like it's taking every like hair off me. Thank you so much, Denise. Even though I don't have hair on my face because I like use my little buzzer thingy. How pretty does that look? But this one I think really does a good job. If you guys haven't tried the Freeman's brand, you totally should. Ow, ow, ow. I just tell myself, just do it, just do it. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Well, that is off. Um, and my phone's being dumb. I wanted to come on here and say to all of you guys who actually watched I love you and I'll be uploading a video later tonight so stay tuned for that I'll probably have one up tomorrow too and yeah always remember if you have video requests leave them down below and I will do that for you guys love you Oh, my God.